I am ready to bear the consequences of speaking out. Clergy Mohammed Nuro reviews all. Hello, my wonderful people. The new thing ongoing now in Nigerian government is that see no evil, hear no evil, keep quiet. In fact, if you have not heard, in Jos, people who are going about a peaceful protest that um, the, the, the insecurity must come to an end after 22 Fulani headsmen were killed and just turned into a bloodbath, killing spray commenced, have been arrested and severely dealt with by the governor. So, he learned that from Muhammad Buhari, who has taken out the voice of the people. In fact, has gone to the media to say no more reporting of Fulani headsmen activity or anything going on. Don't let the people know or understand that the Fulanis are the one carrying out the activity. The less they know, the better. This Islamic clergy was the same person who revealed some time ago that Muhammad Buhari, those who voted for him, are crying now. And since then, I mean, they've been on his case. And he said something very profound recently. He said, listen, guys, I am not, I'm not afraid. Yes, I'm not afraid to face the consequences because somebody has to speak. In a government where people refuse to speak and allow evil to continue, then evil will continue to thrive. But when we speak out, then they will know that they have responsibility. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. I'm ready to bear the consequences of speaking out. Mohammed Nurum. In an exclusive interview with Ruth TV, the uh, chief imam of ACPO, legislative quarters, Jimat Mosque in the federal capital territory, Abuja, Mohammed Nurum spoke about the security challenges plaguing the country, calling on President Muhammadu Buhari to find lasting and quick solution to Nigerians' problem while accommodating more discreet voices rather than shorten the voice of the people. During the interview, Mohammed said, if President Muhammadu Buhari wants to deliver, may the Almighty help him. But if he does not want to deliver, may the Almighty God deal with him for me to keep quiet and people are dying in the country in numbers, innocent children adopted as a father and a grandfather at this age. I will not have the I will not have feeling or cannot voice out. What is the essence of living? He asked. I have made up my mind to sacrifice for that and no more going back. I won't be quiet. When asked whether his last statement to Buhari on, on a viral video has that has threatened his living freely and made under the press, Mohammed said he does not, he didn't say anything under duress. I intentionally said what I said. I meant it. What I said, and I'm ready to bear the consequences. This way, the government is moving. The way the government is moving is failure. Kidnapping and adoption have become institutionalized business today. All the gadgets of this world, with all the technology of this world, people are using the phones to communicate that your beloved ones are with us and you are going to pay such an amount of money to secure their release. And we have this government that has Minister of Communication and Technology and everything cannot be tracked. They cannot track these phones. This is unbelievable and tragic. If I die now, I am trying to provi provide life for other people who are dying unjustly in Nigeria. All ethnic ethnicity in this country have failed. All politicians have failed. We have to come to the drawing board. If there is no issue, there is no matter. What brought back the agitation of Biafra? Is it not because our leaders have failed? They keep facing Nandi Kanu and Sunday Boho. These are not their problem. Please share this same feeling with them and let them see how they will feel if they are not there. Some are emotionally inclined to their region and their religion. Some are emotionally inclined to their tribe, which is why people are keeping quiet. You see government failing and you are quiet. Why is the government after Sunday Boho and Nandi Kanu? If they do the right thing, things will be better. No, There will be no Nandi Kanu. Nobody will follow them. This is happening because of Buhari's failure. 
So that's the Islamic clergy who is not um, is not missing word. And I said, you know what? Whatever happens, I am ready to bear the consequences. As it stands, I'm not even going to be playing hanky packy with anybody. <laughs> Gone are those days when I keep quiet. Yeah, he said, as a father and a grandfather, at this stage is not a time for him to be quiet and just watch. You know, people will will will, will carry somebody's son and daughter. Yeah, pe people's children, grandchildren, and we take a phone and call them and say, well, we have your son, we have your daughter. There is a minister of communication who is communicating nothing, yet want to collect all Nigerians' data for his own personal gratification or to give the same number to people so that they can go and meet them at home or what? You have the minister of communication, uh, Isiak Pantami, what he's doing is supporting these people. And he's still there, very glorified there. I mean, and when you look at the whole thing, you understand that there is a game plan. And when people talk about this game plan, Buhari is the first to vehemently kick and say, no, there is no such plan. Who are those talking about whatever plan? There is never a plan. And you are watching and you are looking at these things happening before your very eyes. Sadly, this is the country we've come to see ourselves. Sadly, sadly, this is what is happening. You see, people, there's no responsibility, no responsibility being taken, no iota of truth. People are in government and are deceiving the people they are supposed to be leading. Yeah. And guess what? Minister of Communication is there. Mil military is there. See what happened to the military recently. They came to their barracks. One of the, one of the places that's supposed to be the safest place that when all hope is lost, that's where everybody's supposed to troop to. To find, you know, refuge. Funny enough, it has exposed it more to us that no man is God. Who don't depend on any man. Have you heard of the word failure? Fail, 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 fail. Uh -huh. They are after their own protection. They could not do anything. The people came unhindered. Unhindered. There was no resistance whatsoever. They came in. They they saw. They came. They they they, they fought and they conquered. No resistance whatsoever. They did whatever they want to do and they got away with it. And yet, you will te tell us that we have military. And when they were to respond, they said the people that were supposed to be on duty were sleeping. I mean, excuse me. Am I supposed to be on duty there? Is there nothing called responsibility? Sadly, this is the country called Nigeria. Welcome. Welcome. And so this Islamic religion is daring to speak. Say, so listen, guys. If anything wants to happen, let it happen. Abi, all die, now die. I all die and I die. Who die for inside house peacefully? Who die for accident? Who die for we all die and I die? Because I mean, at some point, people need to speak out. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.